Hi kids, Heidi here. Welcome back to another video. Today I have a Goodwill haul for you. I went to two different stores on a day when I had a coupon and a senior discount. So I got 28% off all of my clothing purchases. I, I did some calculating on my receipt. Um, women's and men's tops, usually $5.99, so I paid $4.31 for those. Skirts are only $3.99, so I paid $2.87 for skirts. A swim, if you have buy a top or a bottom, $2.99. I only paid $2.15, and I have a lot of swim to show you. Um, something was $6.99. Oh, pants and jeans are $6.99, so today I only paid $5.03. So that gives you kind of an idea of what I'm paying for things, if that helps you when you're doing your own sourcing. Of course, you should pay what you think is a good value and room to make a profit. I have a couple of hard goods, but they're buried, so we won't do things in any, oh, you can see one of them right there. So let's get started. These are flannel pajamas from Monkey Monkey. They do flannel pajamas with novelty prints. They don't get as much money, well, they don't cost as much to begin with, and they don't get as much in resale as Nick and Nora. That's a favorite novelty flannel pajama line that I like. But I thought these were cute. They've got a really beautiful blue stripe on the, there's a pair of pants too. But what's interesting about these, I noticed that there were people shopping. Well, the sleeve, that's not gonna help you. See the people shopping? So there, here's a pile of shirts or something that says cute. and. Here's somebody offering samples. So does that tell you anything about, I'm doing the squinting thing again. Maybe I need new glasses. Anyway, this is a Costco flannel pajama set, shopping at Costco. Apparently they do one Costco print every year, probably at Christmas time. And this one is from like three years ago, but they're in perfect condition and somebody's gonna want their Costco pajamas, I hope. Um, at 25 to 30 maybe, if I'm lucky. Oh, look at this sweet little thing. It's a baby blanket. Oh, upside down. With Ralph Lauren polo bears all over it in a little blue stripe. It's got still got both the tags. This set of tags is meant to be removed. And then there's another little tag right here, Ralph Lauren. It's so sweet. It's probably only going to get about $20, but I paid $1.27. So why not? I always look at the linens just in case. Oh, do you remember that Zimmerman hat I showed you on Instagram? I sold it for $65. I paid like $1.50 for it. Always look at the hats too. Here, what is this? Oh, this is a sad story. This is my flop. So this is a vintage satin nightgown. It has a lot going for it. Lace, it's satin, it's very modest, satin trim, full length. Um, if this were in better condition, it doesn't have any flaws like holes or stains. It's just overall, it looks worn. The satin has gotten fuzzy. Yeah, you can't really see it. I can see it. I tried shaving it and it helped a little and I thought, no, I'm not gonna shave an entire nightgown. So if this were in better condition, it would probably go for about $40 because it's got so many of the key features that a vintage nightgown collector's looking for. But because of the condition, I'm probably gonna ask about 20. It needs to be um, either washed or deodorized. It is washable. It's because it's made out of cuddle skin. 40% nylon, 30% polyester, 30% cotton. So what I would, it says machine wash, delicate, tumble dry, remove promptly. So I'll wash it so it smells fresh and I'll offer it for about 20. And again, that's based on condition. So I don't, I'm really trying to avoid vintage because I'm just not that good at it. But it always catches my eye. And then I think, well, maybe this is the one. Here is a classic, a Lacoste men's polo shirt. 
and kind of a, I guess that's orange. It's not bright orange, it's a soft peachy orange, but I'll probably get 25 to 30 for that. This is cotton piquet. It's not that soft nylon fabric that a lot of polos are made out of now. It's the traditional polo fabric. Oh, this was fun. The lady wasn't sure what to charge for men's vests, so she let me have it for $2.99. This is vintage. The brand is Modal, but, um, and there were some listed by that brand, but I don't think that matters. But it's just a black leather vest with snaps up the front and pockets, and it's a full leather back. So I will probably put motorcycle in as keywords or Western. Um, this one smells like grandpa. I don't know what your grandpa's head smelled like, but I remember mine. And yeah, I'm gonna probably put Febreze on the label. I think that's where it's coming from. Perhaps the lining. I'll be careful not to get anything on the leather, but I'm gonna ask about 40 for that. Here is a cute little shirt. It is um, Lauren Ralph Lauren, new with tags. And again, I paid about $4 for this. Their price was 70 and it's a stretchy, cute little summer yellow striped shirt. This is called lettuce. Like the, like the green you make your salad out of, a lettuce hem. This is very elaborate. Sometimes it's just one little roll, but when it goes woo -doo -doo -doo, and it's all wavery, you can call that a lettuce hem. It doesn't help as an SEO term, but it helps to describe it for the buyer. I've been thinking a lot about that in the words that we put in our titles and our descriptions. They're really, they serve two different purposes. And one is for search engine optimization or helping the buyer find your thing. And so words that buyers would use to search are important in the title and in the description. And then there are words that you, that you use to sell the item to the buyer once they've found it. And that is the kind of detail about, you know, how many pockets it has, or if the hood is detachable, or does it have snaps and a zipper, or just a zipper, or just snaps. Those things the buyer might want to know, and they'll go, oh yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. But nobody searches for storm flap on a parka, or searches for a zippered pocket, you see? So you need words that catch the buyer's eye and make them want to buy it once they've seen it, but you also need words that help them search. So think like a buyer and just go on and look for things and say, if I needed a dress to wear to Millie's wedding, what would I search? Would I search for red satin maxi skirt? Maybe if she was having a red and black and white theme. This is Carlisle and it's actually, um, I thought it was vintage, but it's not. And Carlisle, I used to, used to be able to get good stuff for their blazers, and I've had more stuff sit lately, but I couldn't pass this up because skirts, I said, $3.99, so I paid less than $3. It's a red satin maxi skirt. I'm going to try and show you how full it is. This would be great with a, um, a petticoat, the kind that's smooth around your hips and then flans out below the knee. Just beautiful. Someone could pair that with a really pretty evening top and um, wear it to a formal event, or a girl could put it with a, with a sparkly cami and wear it to prom, or you could even use it as a part of a costume. I'm gonna put all those um, words in my description box. Costume, evening, formal, ball gown, because a red satin maxi skirt could be a lot of different things. These are kind of fun, I have sold Vintage Polo Ralph Lauren swimwear before. And at first I wasn't sure why they were so popular. This is just a plain green one. Um, I'm working on replacing the drawstring. It was missing the drawstring. And I always save drawstrings. If I accidentally buy something that's too damaged to sell, I pull the drawstring out before I give it back to Goodwill. And then I save them. So I had a drawstring, putting it in these shorts. But anyway, back to why People would buy these. Well, if you are familiar with Chubby's, the new brand of, hot brand of men's swim trunks, you know they come in three different inseams and the short ones are very popular again. My husband's like, oh, I just got used to the long ones and now the short ones are back. I said, well, honey, you don't need to be fashionable. 
So these have a shorter inseam, not the shortest, but shorter. And so I'm sure I'll get like 25. I'm gonna ask 30 for these. This is a fun green color with, of course, the, the Ralph Lauren. Where's the polo pony? There it is. So shorty men's uh, swim trunks are popular again. I'm gonna save all my women's swim for the end, if that's okay, I have a big pile of it. You're probably gonna get bored, but. So for some reason, these two dresses, I was only charged for a top, so I think I paid $4, $4.37. They're universal threads, I have two of them, and it's a baby doll dress with a puffy sleeve and a, and a little ruffle at the bottom. And this one is a dark foresty teal color, keyhole at the bottom. They were 35 new, but like I said, I got them for $4. I got this one and I got this one. They're both XL. I haven't taken off the barb off that one. And um, maybe they won't sell until fall, I don't know. But I ought to be able to get 20 or 25. We'll see. I just like to sell new tags things. Oh, here's a new brand of shoes, new to me. James Smith. It says Smith under there. You know what Smith looks like. So these are um, wood soles with a leather footbed and a leather upper. Very nice sandals. They were probably about 150 new. And I'm gonna list them for $40. I had never heard of James Smith. Have you heard of Jane Smith? I think that um, I think those are so great because of the genuine wood on the bottom, the stat heel. If you're having a cocktail, go ahead and knock one back. Oh. I saw these two little dishes, which are gratin dishes or little single serving casseroles, or you could use them for a lot of different things. You could make flan, scalloped potatoes, mac and cheese, two of them. They're from Crate and Barrel. And they're very high quality, hard anodized aluminum. And I think for the, I paid um, $2.12 for both. And I think I can probably get 25. Love to look for things from Crate and Barrel, uh, Restoration Hardware, Pier One, even though they're closed now, their stuff still sells. There's another store that's like that. What's the place with all the kitchen stuff? Williams Sonoma. When I see things like that at the thrift stores, I always look them up and see if they're collectible. This is a brass planter. I always look at the brass and see if it might be interesting. Um, I offered this to one of my daughters who likes things in this color, not necessarily all brass, but um, she said she was all set. <laughs> That's our family code word for, hell no, I don't want that but it's got oak leaves on the end for the handle and it's a very pretty little planter. And um, I'm probably gonna ask about 35 for that and see what happens. Now that, I had a, now that I had a drink, I've got the hiccups. That's gonna be entertaining. My husband is sending me text messages from the road. If you saw my earlier video, he he helped me unbox a men's thread up box. That was fun. He's so relaxed and natural at everything, even though he says he's not. So um, not too long ago, I did some research into Victoria's Secret Pink, which items are worth getting and which ones should you leave behind? And for me, and not knowing what the kids are up to most of the time, um, the nuances of some of the styles of the different pieces that versus, you know, what would get you 15 versus what you would get you 40. I, I struggled to find out, but one thing I did see clearly, which was that Victoria's Secret pink stuff, it has, first of all, it has to say it big, not just a little subtle thing right here, it has to be big and bold and in your face. And that stuff with sports teams, whether collegiate or professional, did better than just fashion. So when I saw this, I thought, okay, first of all, it's Michigan, University of Michigan, not Michigan State. That's a green kind of a deal. So this is Michigan. And then when I saw the back, sequins, because everybody wears sequins to the ball game. 
and there it says pink. So the pink isn't huge, but the Michigan is huge and the sequins are big. So for, for something, I thought I would give it a try. Do you sell Victoria's Secret pink? And how do you decide yay or nay on any particular piece? Because you can't comp every single item. That would take forever. So this was silly, but it was inexpensive. Swim cover-ups, um, they were charging $2.99 for, so I got this for $2.12 or something crazy. The, there's no tag in, in the neck, but on the label, I found that it was Forever 21. And then I thought, well, you should put that back. However, it's a kind of a cute swim cover. And there, I always sell swim cover-ups very quickly. So it's a caftan style, meaning there are side seams. They're like right about here. So there's a hole for your arm, and then there's a side seam, okay? It's not a poncho. And then it has these cute tassels at the bottom. So, you know, it was so cheap that I thought even if Forever 21 only gets me $15, that's some money. Oh, here's a couple shirts that I thought I was going to get for myself. Martha Stewart every day. I might get 10 or $12 for these, but I'm gonna sell them. This one's denim. It's got a little half sleeve. And this one is lighter wash denim. And it's got some embroidery. It's just, I'm, I could hold it up, but it just looks like an ordinary shirt. But I didn't like the, the fabric is too heavy and they made me look like this. And I don't need any help looking like that. So I'm gonna sell these, but I bought them for me and it just didn't work out. Here, this is, this is gonna be surprisingly good. It's Zaya Active, which I've been having some success with in the leggings. It's a t-shirt with some backpackers on it and some mountains. And I'm gonna list this for like 25. It's got a little round hem for just a t-shirt. Um, the cons were pretty good. So here's a surprise. Have you ever seen this before? This is a men's shirt. There wasn't a lot of men's in this, this particular day. I was shopping in the men's for my grandsons. So that's where most of it went. They needed um, shorts and t-shirts and swimming trunks and pants. So um, that's where I spent most of my time in the men's. But I found this. It's the Roosevelt's. So it's got a little icon that looks like Teddy Roosevelt. And then it's got an abbreviation of Roosevelt's. And it says something about Australia. And it's an Australian brand. And this is a button up short sleeve shirt. And it's new with tag. And I thought, well, it says Australia, so I better look it up. And I noticed that it has this, um, mm -hmm, where is it? There with, oh. It had this Kuniflex, which is kind of like the model or the kind of fabric that it used. So I looked it up. And the sell-through is about half on just all the Roosevelt shirts. The ones that say Kuniflex, the sell-through is like 200%, meaning there were half as many listed as sold in the last 90 days. The ones with the best prices, and I'm talking like $60 for used, were for TV shows. Uh, they had The Office, they had uh, Parks and Recreation, they had... Um, Oh, I thought of a th there was a third one, but look it up yourself. Um, and those were getting like 50 to $70. This one should get 45, 40 to 50 maybe. And it has got koalas and kangaroos all over it. So it's an Australian themed print. There's, um, there's a bird of some sort and a lizard. And, but the recognizable ones are koalas and kangaroos. So... Watch out for this if you're gonna take a dabble in men's clothes, because oh, these are good shirts. Okay, one last item before the swimwear. This is a Brighton purse, um, a woven straw type bag. It's not real straw, but um, it's cool because the, um, the trim is a snakeskin print and the handles are braided. And I just thought that was real pretty. It's still got the Brighton charm. But here's my experiment. The silver hardware here has, um, some of the finish is gone. So I saw, I don't know why I didn't think of it because I used to have some. Ashley on Hustle at Home Mom was using metallic paint markers to touch up, um, 
I don't remember what her item was. It might have been trim on a shoe or something. But to touch up metallic finished stuff, right? This isn't actual silver plate. This is coated with something. So I ordered some markers from Amazon, and I'm going to try and touch that up. I will disclose it, of course, and take a picture. And if it looks like crap, well, then I just got myself a Brighton purse for the summer. But it's a cute bag for summer. And um, with the with the snake skin makes it a little bit different. So wish me luck on the repair job. The inside is beautiful. I tend to put back purses that are really nasty inside because nobody wants to open it up and go, uh, you know. Oh, look, it's got a nice little key minder on there, a leash for your keys. Very cute purse. Okay, let's whiz through the swim and see if we can get this under 30 minutes. You know that I mostly like to pick up Miracle Suit, Magic Suit, Ella Bean, um, Land's End, but there are a few other brands, and here's one. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is a one-piece suit, and I always inspected the underleg area. It's a halter with removable straps, so if you're brave, you could go strapless. It's just a really bright, pretty uh, purple print, and the... Uh, the tank suit has a ruffle skirt. Very cute. Again, for swim, I paid, I paid four, uh, what is it? For one pieces, I paid $4.31. And for um, top or bottom, I paid $2.15. Good deal. A lot of my um, one piece, like the, just the top or the bottom, I list for $24.99, unless they're super amazing. So here we have a suit that was new with tags from Land's End. It doesn't have the Land's End tag, but it's clearly never been worn. And this is a size 10 petite, and it is a one piece tank suit with a really fun um, drapey wrappy business, which also, oh, <laughs> part of it is in the back. You're so unprepared. If I were on network TV right now, I'd be fired. It's got a lot of drapey wrappy going on, okay? Which is great because it, you know, kind of hides the tongue. So um, that'll probably list at about uh, 35 instead of 25 because it is a whole suit. Here is another Land's End. This, this, this tag is in the back, not the neck. This is a really nice, just great full coverage tank top type sort of suit. It's got a padded bra inside. And guess what, ladies? This is new too. It's got a Coles tag on it. That is spiffy. I've got a bunch of appealing to do so I can take off the clearance, but that one is new as well. So I might list that for 32. I always get offers on my swim and I almost always accept it because I want to keep it moving. You always have to feel the removable pads and make sure they're not all bungled up. Um, that happens when people wash them with the pads in. You should always take the pads out before you wash. But I'm not everybody's mama whispering in their ear. So this is like a dip tie or an ombre kind of uh, tank top. It's got wider straps, but they're still adjustable. And this is Land's End also. There's a little Land's End plastic tag. Again, I'll list that for $24.99. This feels like it might be a little larger. That's a 16D, got an underwire bra in it. So much swim. This is Title Nine. That's printed there. And it's a blue paisley. This is cool because it has um, a bra fastener inside the, I'm just not coordinated today. Inside the back of the tank, it's got a bra fastener. So that makes the bra function a little bit better. Then you're not always yanking everybody back up after you come out of the water. Here's a, the only swim bottom I found. It's a Land's End size 12. And it is a little skirted short thing. So in the back, it looks like shorts, and the front it looks like a skirt, because it's got a little draped panel that hooks on with a belt. 
but it's black. And again, for bottoms, I just get solid colors. And usually just navy, maybe royal blue, black, brown. I don't get any print bottoms because that would be hard to match with the top. But you could maybe get all the print bottoms. This one is um, skirts. This is not a swim. It's a skirt. It's called Skirt Sports. I've only sold two of this brand before, but they sold very quickly. It's a skirt for golf or tennis. And they're, they tend to be a little bit longer length than, uh, this is probably, this is probably 16 and some of the skirts are only like 12. It's got a back pocket for balls. And um, does it have gripper short legs? No, some of the, sometimes skorts have gripper legs inside and those are for really active sports. Like if you want to run in a skort or um, play tennis, the gripper legs are nice. So that's a great skort. Uh, skirts, again, were cheap, $3.99 minus 28%. And I'll probably get 25 or 30 for that. And here's my last item. It's another Title IX. This one is a swim. I had everything inside out while I was washing and drying. And it is a little tankini with a cross back. So hard to show. It crosses in the back and has adjustable straps and a little shelf bra. So I love to sell swim. I just usually put almost all of it up for $24.99. Somebody offers me $22 or, or $21 and I say, okie dokie. I really like to sell swim for the brief period of time that it's very popular and I can find it. That's my haul for the today. Oh, we did it in under 30 minutes. And if I cut out all that weird stuff at the beginning, we'll be in great shape. I hope you had a good time. I thank you so much for stopping by today. If you have any questions for me or comments on the video or uh, comments on any of the items that I picked up, I'd love to have a conversation with you in the comments section. I had fun today. I hope you did too. Bye, kids.